Hello everybody, I'm Nick and in this video I'll be showing you how we can use the delete verb to delete a resource in a collection in a RESTful API in ASP.NET Core. So like in the previous video, first things first, we have to create the delete method in our service. So it's going to look the same as the update, well almost, it's going to return a boolean but it's going to accept a GUID and that's the post ID that we're going to use here. So let's call it delete post and let's change this to and GUID post ID. Then we're going to have to implement this method here. And we're going to say, uh, can we do this quickly? No, let's just get the post. So get post by ID using the method we already have. And then we can simply use the remove method to remove the item. Now before I do that, yes, this should return true at this point, but if the post equals null, so if the post doesn't exist, we return false. And the reason why we do that is because we want to let the user know if the item was deleted or if it wasn't because it didn't exist. Going back to our controller, uh, we're going to need a, a new delete endpoint. So let's go ahead and create an HTTP delete and the API root will look the same as the update one so dot posts dot delete I pre-created it but all it has is just the post ID that's all it really needs actually and let's call it delete and again we're gonna use this from root to get the post ID and uh, let's Let's see, this should be very straightforward. Using the post service, we should call the delete using the post ID method. And then if it was successfully deleted, we will return. Hmm, so there's something I should mention here. There are two ways you can actually do, deal with a delete in REST. You can either return OK and return the full body of the deleted item when you return back, or you can return a 204 no content. My approach is returning a no content 204, mainly because it's simple, but also once deleted, I don't really think that the consumer needs the deleted resource. However, if it makes sense for your use case to delete it, it's perfectly fine to return 200 OK and the item in the body if that's what your requirement is. In our case, it's not, so we're going to return no content. And if it doesn't exist, we're going to return not found. Again, with no other uh, content in it, so just blank results. So let's see how that works out. If I run the application, as you can see, we have our delete method here. So first, let's find an item we want to delete. So let's delete the first one. We're going to use the post ID, and if I call this method, as you can see, 204, no content, there is no body, there's nothing, we just know that it was deleted and, and it existed. Uh, and if I try to do this again, I will actually get a 404 now, and that's because there is nothing else to delete, this item was deleted. And if I try to, for some reason, update this item, as we did before, I will still get a 404, it doesn't exist. And you can see that by actually executing this again. Now we have four items, not five. So deleting an item is as simple as that. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you like this type of content and leave a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep coding.